Hi everyone, so today I'm going to bring you guys along with me for my badminton training. It's been about 3 months since my surgery. So what happened was, my right knee had some bone and cartilage damage. And they took out a bone that kind of broke in my knee and it was floating around. Yeah. So what I can do now is just some light jogging, some lunges that don't pass the 90 degree mark and training now will be mainly on my hand skill and just a little bit of light movement to kind of get the rhythm of the of my footwork hopefully this video can encourage you even if you are injured yeah i've been doing this for about three months now and honestly it's getting very very boring because I can only stand stand there and, and hit the shutter. I can't really run, uh, I can't lunge, I can't I can't do a lot of things. And I just want to show you guys that being injured doesn't mean that you cannot train. There are still many things that you can do even though you are injured. You can still, let's say if you injure your leg, you still can train your hand. Or uh, if you injure your hand, then I think you can only train your leg. But for most of the time, badminton players uh, will have knee injuries, ankle injuries. Yeah, so still can you still can train and you still can maintain your 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 touch. And I feel if you consistently train, even though you are injured, when you are recovered, it will be easier to get back on court. Of course, there are times where I feel like I don't feel like training. I feel very unmotivated and what i do personally when i come across this kind of situation is uh, one of my biggest inspiration is carolina marine she i believe she tore both of her acl and mcl or something like that and i watch her videos and i see how she trained then she will be sitting on call and doing some and skill training so yeah so hopefully i'll recover soon but in the meantime this is what i'll be doing for training so let's go so the first thing i'm gonna do will be uh variations for each corner so i'll be doing the back two corner first then after that the front two corner
So now we will do 100 drop shots. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, 100 drop shots. Sounds easy, but I don't think it's easy. Hey, how can you say that? Oh my goodness! Oh my god, lucky. <laughs> 58, 58, let's go. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you ten more. Yes. One thing. How many more? How many more? Three. Oh, I count hundred four already, lah. Hundred five already. Okay. Uh. Okay. Now I'll be doing some defending. I'm going to train my hand speed.
I'm just done with my training and then I went for lunch with my friend. We had chicken rice. So what I'm doing now is just training once a week and I will always add in some kind of fun to training so I don't get burned out so easily. I've been doing this for about three months now and it's been really draining even though it's just once a week but I don't look forward to training as much as I used to but things will get better soon I believe. Other than training on court, I will also go to the gym and work on both my upper body and lower body. If you want to check out what I do for my lower body, you can go to my TikTok. So I'll put the link in the description somewhere or maybe in the video. Hopefully this will inspire some of you guys that are injured and don't have any motivation to train. If you have any questions on why I do certain things in training or what do I do in the gym, you can just drop a comment. I will reply. Thanks for joining me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.